Hello and welcome to That's The Point. Every single time we sit down, we talk about construction positioning and really precision positioning is what we're talking about. I'm joined today by my right-hand guy. That's true of the desk here because you're sitting on my right, but mm -hmm. Jonathan Stickle, how's it going? Good, sir. Doing good. Glad to be here. I think we got a fun one today. Yeah, so today we're going to keep you on top of things and that's the big goal after it all. Is. And today we're quite literally talking about things on top because we're talking about ceilings. What you did there. So that's right. So we are often fixated in looking down on layout, right? So we're so used to looking down, staking out. We often forget that Trimble's layout solutions are also able to lay out up high as well. Yeah, and this might be remedial for some of you, but for some of us, this might just unlock a whole new workflow because instead of laying out the point on the floor, sometimes it just makes sense to save the step and lay out directly onto yeah, the ceiling. That is correct. And so we're, we do it today, we're talking about using the direct laser layout feature. So we're using a total station that has a laser pointer, right? We are. We got an R RTS 873 set up right behind me, but any laser layout will do. Right. So we're talking about just as long as you got the pointer. So the 773, um, the 873, um, some of the older 6 series, you know, RIs, RPTs, all those have pointers. So let's talk about the two main methods that we have to lay out directly to the ceiling. The first is available with any version of FieldLink, so that's where we're going to start. Um, and we can do that by setting your reference elevation to the ceiling plane. And what we want to do is we actually just want to set the reference elevation to the ceiling. So we're going to do that by simply going over to device, reference elevation, um, and it's going to ask us to aim at the reference point. So right now I'm just going to click on the, uh, the laser mode, and we're going to switch from prism to laser mode. And it's going to put a dot, and we're just going to aim that dot right up to the ceiling. And so we're going to use our little handy joystick. We're going to move that up. And all you have to do is just pick a point on that upper surface that you want to use as your reference so it knows where to look. And we're good there. And so we're going to come back down. And we're going to say measure. And there we go. Our reference elevation point is now set. Um, and so, again, you can see we've selected it as 0, zero feet, which is how that's going to work. I'm going to go back to measure. And now we want to just lay out. And now what we can do is we can actually select any of these points. So we'll just aim to the next point. So we'll aim to this point 104 that we see here. And it is going to move over. And we can see that it translated right on the ceiling. And it's going to lock in and turn green. And there we go. Turns green on the 873. That means we're good. And we can then store the point. So, or we can come back We can go back into layout and we can easily pick the other points. But all these are now set up because we've changed that re reference elevation. And there is a second method as well, yep. but to be fair, this does require field link advance. So if you're running core, you can reach out to your local building point representative for hand. Yeah, that is true. And, uh, and they sure will be happy to help. So with the advanced module field link though, um, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're in laser layout mode, which we still are. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna now, once again, set that reference elevation. So because we were doing this just a couple seconds ago, we want to reset that reference elevation to back to zero. So we're just going to come to device, reference elevation, and we're going to remeasure that to the floor. So we're pointed down at the floor now. I'm going to hit measure. And all good. So now we've got that measured at zero, zero, zero. So we're kind of back to like a level playing field. Mm -hmm. um, but if we come back to our layout screen then, um, so we're going to then come to measure, layout, and then we're going to pick that first point. So we're going to pick, like, let's say, like, let's point, pick this point 105. Uh, the total station is going to go over and aim to there. And we're going to click store. And it's going to be staked in tolerance. And we can see now that we're still pointing at the ground, but we have this little icon in advance down on the bottom bar. And we can now just tap that. And it's going to say project to ceiling. And we're going to click aim. And that's correct. So once you set up that reference elevation back to the floor on zero, you can easily just hit that toggle button with advanced and toggle between the floor and ceiling layout, whichever point makes the most sense for you. Yeah, so two very good options to keep in mind when you want to save some time transferring points from the floor to the ceiling after the fact. So this is some good food for thought. Exactly. We're just trying to help everyone stay on top. And of course, if you have any questions, your building point representative is ready to help. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.